time. We're talking about fall. It's Friday. Fall is happening this weekend. So excited about this. My favorite season of the year. Most oh, people's same, favorite. Same. I, mean, I like to say that spring is a tease and fall is a relief. And uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's really what it is to me. And I'm excited because October, the best month of the year, is mere days away. So what are you looking forward to this fall? I'm looking forward to Phillips Farms. It is my favorite thing to do in the fall time, especially since having kids. If you live west of Raleigh toward Cary, that's where it is. You're probably familiar with it. It's the premier destination for oh, premier. <laughs> my favorite fall word, agritainment. You know, when Ooh. I went to Italy, I stayed in agriturismo. What does that mean? Agro Agriculture tourism. Okay. Farms will have people stay on their farm, and it's a cheaper way to travel cool. in Europe. I know. Cool, right? Agra is a great prefix. Well, who Ad- doesn't love a farm? at the end. Yes. Phillips Farms has, like, they have this apple cannon that you can shoot <laughs> apples across a pond. When are you going to oh, be there? I kind of want to shoot you with that. Yeah. You'd like to put me on the boat in the middle of the pond and have me be shot, wouldn't you? Stuff dreams are made of. <laughs> yeah. What about you? You, what about you, Jim? What are you looking forward to this fall? Now, truly, you you brought my my season is spring. I love spring, oh. but fall I do love sweatshirts and getting oh, all yeah. cozy. And oh yeah, like, nothing better um, than your, a sweatshirt your or stitch sweater. Fix stylist just goes crazy nails in the it. fall. Nails, nails it every it. fall. Every <laughs> fall, I just write back to her. I'm like Sandra, nailed it again. <laughs> Please tell me her name is Sandra. I have no idea. Okay, I was like, Shout do out. you know your it stylist is, uh, name? Actually, they do tell you what your oh, stylist name is Oh, I know. I've used it. Yes. I think it's better for men than for women, though. That's my personal opinion. Oh, really? Yeah. You've had a bad experience? Oh, yeah. They tried oh. to dress me like a Midwestern college student, <laughs> and I'm like, no. Dude, no. But for yeah. me, thanks for asking. I'm excited for- uh, <laughs> Hey, wait, 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 wait. All right, we wait, have a caller on line one. Oh. Wait, 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 shh, shh. Hey, Sarah, what are you looking forward to? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Surprising question. I am excited about Halloween. Duh. I'm so excited. It's my favorite holiday of the year. You and uh, Brian's wife, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she decorates way more than I do. I just love the spookiness of the season, how oh, yeah? everybody and all the sh- all the networks put on all their ghost hunting stuff and mm-hmm. all their ghost stories. Man, I am all oh, about ghost stories, it. Ghost stories, co- corn mazes, oh, anything in a cornfield because I'm from Indiana. You know? oh, I bet you guys have epic corn mazes. They're some of the best. I bet. But, hey, I'm biased. Arthur, what about you? What are you looking forward to this fall? There's a couple good corn mazes down here. Oh, good. And I wanted to take, yeah, so you need, uh, I can get it lined up so y'all can come down and visit. Well, tell and, us uh, about the corn mazes. Uh, you just heard us waxing about how much we love a good corn they're maze. They're so fun to get lost in. Well, actually, there are, and th- there's a few of them down here that uh, actually is contracted with, they, well, they don't contract, but they, they, they invite all the, uh, the kids from the school, the elementary schools, and they come out and do like a corn maze trip, you know. Oh, that's and fun. And they learn about they learn they learn about agriculture and they learn about different things, and then it's kind of like an educational fun day, you know. I so love they that. have the trivia question, so that if they get it wrong, they're lost in the maze forever. But if they get it right, <laughs> they get to get. Out. So we're gonna we- take our math test in the corn maze yeah. today, <laughs> yeah. and uh, if you make it out, you pass. You just see a bunch of kids. Yeah, that's right. How many? How many feet is it for you to make a yard or, or something? <laughs> yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah, that's right. this is I good. don't know, Miss Teacher. I this don't is know. Good. Just find a bunch yeah, of kids. How many, like... how, many, how many ears of corn does it take to make a bushel? <laughs> bushel. Oh, I have no idea. Do you know the answer to that? Yeah, well, there's. A, I mean, it's, it, it varies, actually, because it's all going to be dis- dependent upon the size of that's the ear true. And, yeah. the, the, and the size of the uh, the kernels. That's so, true. Uh, so you're gonna have yeah. to get into like X's and Y's and plug in different sizes in, and, and then you gotta and do some summations and whatnot. You know, this is Woo. this is what the high schoolers. This have sounds to get like into. a graphing calculator problem. Yeah, I think so. It, it what, sounds like a cal- calculus issue to me. <laughs> I agree. Something about the yeah. tangents and the cosines. What you got going on this fall? Oh well, I'm just uh, ready to get you know ready to slow down you know because this is our it goes into our slow season a little bit. We get to catch our breath and and uh, hopefully get rid of these mosquitoes as they, as Ooh. we call them down here. They're they're skeeters. Oh. They're big. I bet they there's lots of skeeters spider. after all that water came your way. Oh my God, it's been terrible. I mean, it's like you go you go outside at the farm and when I was at I mean it's not so bad at the golf course. Because we're spraying stuff all the time, you know. But um, when when I'm at home, it's like you go outside, and you get attacked. Mm. Yeah, 
You know, it's you know one yeah. of the most relieving things I learned this summer is oh. that we can guilt free kill mosquitoes. We talked to an entomologist who said, eh, basically they don't provide anything to the earth except maybe a little bit of food to the ecosystem, but it's not like spiders that really serve a purpose. Mosquitoes were literally built just to be the worst things on earth. <laughs> and therefore, you can kill all of them and hate them guilt-free. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. talking about. Well, some some places actually, uh, they bring in bats and because uh, they get so bad and uh, they let the bats take them out. Yeah, like I don't it. know. That sounds like substituting one problem for an even worse problem. <laughs> oh, bats are awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, listen. Thanks hey, for calling. You got. You have a good weekend, Arthur. We got to jump back on air. Take care, buddy. Uh, you, t- you, you guys too. Have a good weekend, Jim. Welcome to the morning show, brother. Well, why? Thank you, Arthur. I appreciate it. <laughs> bye bye. Right, good day. Good day. Have a good weekend. Bye. Bye.